Hello. This short presentation shares the People and Places Partnership's broad perspective on the changing place of parking in enabling visits to our town and city centres. In doing so, I look beyond the white, yellow and battle lines that often divide opinions about the place of parking in town centres. I seek to point to how parking provision can adapt as part of an evolving town centre experience. Journey to town, including parking, is one of a range of issues covered in the Revitalising Town Centres Toolkit prepared by People and Places for the LGA. If you scan the QR code shown with the smartphone, you will see that the toolkit advocates an evidence-led and joined-up approach to revitalising our town and city centres. The recommended approach begins by suggesting you talk to businesses and customers to assess the priority that these key stakeholders give to improving parking amongst many other town centre issues. As this recent stakeholder engagement of businesses and customers across Hertfordshire towns shows, improving parking and travel to town are often amongst the top priorities for stakeholders, especially town centre traders. That will be alongside other top stakeholder priorities that often include diversifying the business mix, enhancing the streetscape and pedestrian movement around town, or bringing the centre to life through marketing and events. Parking needs to be addressed alongside these other issues. As well as stakeholder perceptions, we also use metrics about town centre and parking performance to test the opinions expressed. Here we show analysis of such data across 30 towns where we have worked. Amongst the most common scenarios represented here, a shortage of parking provision is only a limiting factor for around 20% of the towns sampled. For other towns, it is very often a case of needing to challenge stakeholders' negative perceptions about the relationship between parking and place. Very often, it would seem, parking provision is unfairly blamed for businesses' woes, and the solutions lie in changing how parking is perceived and used as part of the journey to town. As this LGA good practice case study demonstrates, such a focus on customers' journey to town involves a detailed look at three aspects of parking provision. The quality, including convenience and waymarking. The quantity of parking spaces to enable the balancing of availability for different types of town centre users. And cost and tariffs as a way of influencing the use and turnover of parking spaces. This case study provides an example of how to change the type of customer using different car parks in a way that better needs beats their needs. Coincidentally, the case study advocates a form of park active for visitors who will enjoy a riverside walk as part of their introduction for town and for workers who can get better value if they cycle or walk from peripheral car parks. As part of the People and Places Partnership holistic view of town centres and our keen focus on creating an appealing journey to town, we also keep a watchful eye on town trends, including active travel. In the linked article here, we take a close look at the data in the UK Walking and Cycling Index from a place leadership perspective. We do not do this to evangelise about the benefits of active travel they rather seek to present objective facts to inform understanding and decision making by place leaders. Though I did enjoy the cycle track picture that connects Newcastle and Forsyth Tyneside towns where we have been working. Trends revealed by this analysis include that nearly two thirds of people believe that more space for walking and cycling will improve their area. The most popular reason for walking and cycling trips are journey with a purpose, like travelling to work or to shops. It is important to understand and respond to such trends in helping to improve people's journey to town, including by adapting parking provision. 
And that really is the key to how we see understanding the evolving place of parking in enhancing the wider town centre experience. Drill down on the data to understand the issues and adapt accordingly. Drilling down into the data, tracking foot flow and engaging with stakeholders can help us look differently at places and how we travel into and around them. Take Whitley Bay in Tyneside, for example, where you can readily arrive by bike, bus, metro or car. Enabling active travel within the town can help users make more of the different parts of the town, including its town centre, an appealing village-like area, the promenade and a variety of car parks, including seasonal seafront parking. At People and Places, we love sharing what works and learning from what doesn't. For example, we run a LinkedIn group called People, Places and Parking. Check it out. If you want to keep in touch and find more about some of the evidence and case studies that I have referenced quickly today, scan this final QR code and you'll find a blog with all the links. Thank you for your time.